Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to run multiple feature file. So the approach which I'm going to use is, first of all, I will create a map object. Inside the map, the key will be feature name and the value will be feature object. We will supply the feature name in the JVM argument with comma separated. So here you will just put a comma and specify the second feature name like this. So once I fetch the value, I'm going to split based on the comma and then I will add them inside the modified list. So this I will put split, which is an inbuilt function. And here I'll specify the comma as a separator. This we are this is going to return as the array of string object. Okay, so first let me comment out this piece of code. And here I will create a method that will give us the map object. So map, the first data type is the string and second data type is the cucumber feature. Let me call it as feature map equal to get feature map and the argument is the feature list. So this method just convert your feature list in a map. Press control one to generate the method. So first of all, let me create a local map object, map string cucumber feature, feature map equal to new hash map. As we know that this is a list, so we need to iterate using the for loop. So for each inside the feature list, I will do map that is feature map dot put. The name can be get using this statement and the corresponding cucumber feature object that is cucumber feature and then I'm going to return this feature map so this map will have the data in the form of a key value pair where key is the feature name and the value is the corresponding map object now once this is done So here I will do a for loop because we can have multiple feature name in this array. That's why I need to use the for loop. So for i equal to zero value dot length i plus plus modified list dot add feature map dot get value of i. Okay, so let me extract this entire piece of code in a method. So refactor extract method get modified feature list. And this is just a designing perspective. So I'm going to put a breakpoint over here. Just do a right click debug configuration so just the way you create the run configuration you can create the debug configuration so in the vm argument uh, let me take this particular feature and specify in the vm argument so comma this one apply and debug So let me put a breakpoint here. So if I open my feature map, you can see here. Corresponding name along with corresponding cucumber feature object. Okay. So 
so the execution will start and this will include only two feature which we specified as a vm argument So the execution is done. If I look at the console, the fee the two feature which it picked up for the execution is the web driver wait function and working with the JavaScript pop-up, which we specified via VM argument.